Hi, I'm Leah. And today we're going to talk about some actions that you can take to make your school, family, and neighborhood a better place. What does it mean to take action on an issue? There are lots of different ways to make our world a better place. But how do we know where to start? Can you imagine a world where no one cared? A world where no one cared about the oceans or the forests, where people didn't have enough to eat or a place to sleep, where adults were allowed to exploit children, where people's human rights weren't respected, or where people weren't allowed to express their opinion. Now, imagine a world where lots of people cared. Thankfully, thousands of students like you all over Canada are making a difference in their communities. In grade 10, Molly started an environmental club at her school. The club hosted events such as Ride Your Bike to School Day. They had a battery recycling depot and even lobbied for their school cafeteria to serve at least one organic food item during every lunch hour. Jermaine saw a documentary in school about the number of things we buy and don't need and decided that he wanted to cut down on all the stuff he buys. He decided to start a movement at his school where for one day every month he asks his peers to sign a pledge committing not to buy anything that day. Many of his friends got their whole families to sign on too. 12-year-old Noah cares a lot about the environment and started an awareness campaign about electricity consumption in his neighborhood. Now, every Thursday at 8 p.m., all the houses on his street turn off their lights for one hour. And Chantelle was 14 when one day her coach showed her a video about soccer around the world, and she learned how many of her favorite soccer players once lived in poverty. She decided she wanted to help other kids learn more about her passion, and with the support of her coach and her parents, teamed with a local community center to start an after-school soccer club for underprivileged kids in her community. What have you done already to make a difference? What more can you do to make an even bigger difference? It's really easy to get started. Follow these steps and you'll be making changes in your world in no time. First step, what issue is really important to you? Second step, what would you like to do about it? Third step, Tell everyone about your idea. Talk to everyone about these issues. At school, in line at the supermarket, on the bus. A student once asked Cesar Chavez, the civil rights activist, how he organized. He said, first, I talked to one person, then I talked to another person. No, said the student, how do you organize? Chavez answered, first I talked to one person, then I talked to another person. Chavez understood that change begins with one person and continues with the support of many. Fourth step, make a plan for putting your idea into action. Here are some things to think about while making your plan. One, what help do you need to achieve your goal? Two, what are some possible obstacles you may encounter? And three, how will you know when you're successful? And finally, get started. Remember, if you can imagine it, you can do it. We look forward to hearing about all the ways you are changing the world.